Welcome to our channel Electrical and Control Engineering. We provide the research simulations in the field of optimization specially power systems and renewable energy resources. This is not single lecture, there are series of lectures to design hybrid renewable energy systems. For complete design see the hybrid renewable playlist of YouTube channel. Different global optimization techniques will be discussed. Homer simulation and comparison will be discussed in detail later on in the upcoming lectures. So dear students in this lecture we will discuss the following segments of the hybrid renewable energy system optimization. First we will discuss the modeling of all the energy sources. Then the operational strategy of the optimization algorithm. As in the previous lecture 2 of hybrid energy design we discussed the MATLAB code in detail, we discussed the modeling of all the systems, operational strategy, charging and discharging. So, let's discuss PV modeling. The power supplied by the PV panels can be calculated as the function of the solar radiation by using the following formula. Where, PPV out is output power of PV. PN is rated power under reference conditions. G is solar radiation, GREF is 1000 Watt per m square. T reference is 25 centigrade. KT is 3.7 into 10 power minus 3 and. TUM is the ambient temperature. Coming to the wind turbine modeling. Wind can be considered as a free available energy source that can be utilized for electrification. Since the wind speed varies with height, the measured wind speed at anemometer height must be converted to desired hub heights. The power law equation is calculated by the following. Correlation. In this relation V2 is the speed at the hub height, H2, and V0 is the speed at the reference height, H1. And alpha is the friction coefficient, also known as, Hellman exponent, wind gradient, or power law exponent. Alpha is a function of parameters such as wind speed. Roughness of terrain, the height above ground. Temperature, hour of the day and time of the year. However, it is frequently assumed as a value. Of one seventh. Power output of wind turbine can be approximated as where, Pratt is rated power, V is wind speed in the current time step, and V cut out is cut out wind speed, V rated rated wind speed. V cut in represents cut in wind speed. Above the cut out speed and below the cut in speed the power is zero. Above the cut rated speed and below the cut out speed the power is constant. In the remaining profile the power is given by this equation. The wind and power relation can also be explained by wind power curve. This curve also shows that above the cut out speed and below the cut in speed the power is zero. And above the cut rated speed and below the cut out speed the power is constant. In the remaining profile the power is increasing with the speed of the wind. In biomass gasification technology, Solid bioresidue is transformed into a gaseous fuel which is finally used for electricity generation. The annual output electricity, EBG, of a biomass gasifier can be computed as where PBMG is rating of biomass gasifier system A. NDCUF is the capacity utilization factor. The maximum rating of biomass gasifier installed in a particular area can be defined as follows where GBMG represents overall biomass to electricity conversion efficiency and CV is the biomass's calorific value. Diesel generator works as a secondary energy source in the case of battery depletion during peak demand. However, avoiding unloaded or even lightly loaded operation of the diesel generator is one of the considerations that should be taken into account. The efficiency and the hourly fuel consumption of the diesel generator should be considered in designing a hybrid system and can be expressed by the following formula. Here, Q, T, is fuel consumption, L slash H, P, T, is generated power, K, W, P, R, 
is rated power, A and B are constant parameters, which represent the coefficients of fuel consumption, and can be approximated to 0.246 and 0.08415, respectively. These values will be different for different generators. The main objective of this study is to formulate a cost-effective and reliable hybrid energy system. The rating and sizing of solar PV panels, wind turbine, battery bank, and biomass gasifier are main decision variables. In this section, operational strategy of the system, objective function, and brief introduction of applied algorithm is presented. Simplified steps of operational strategy are as follows. First of all PV power, wind power, and load profile is taken at time t. Then check whether the renewable energy generated is sufficient and surplus to meet the load demand. If yes then proceed to the charging side of the flow chart. If renewable energy generated is not sufficient to meet the load demand. Then proceed to the discharging side of the flow chart. If power generated solely from wind turbines is enough to supply load demand, the remaining power, solar and wind, can be fed to the battery bank. The battery power in this case can be calculated as where PL denotes load demand at any time and GINV denotes the efficiency of the inverter. The total power produced by solar PV panels is denoted by PPV. PW is the power produced by the wind turbine. If the total power produced by solar PV panels and wind turbines is sufficient and also wind power is less than load, then demand can be served by renewable sources only. After satisfying the load, surplus power can be provided to the battery bank and is given as If PB is greater than the maximum allowable capacity of battery bank, LB max, then excess energy could be dumped or can be given to deferrable loads in case of standalone mode. In case of grid connected system the excess energy will be supplied to the grid. Now come to the discharging side. If solar and wind power are inadequate and batteries are also not able to produce the desired power to meet the load demand then biomass gasifier supplies power to the load. However if the batteries has sufficient capacity to meet the deficient amount of load then energy will be taken from batteries. In any stage if the battery's SOC is below the threshold and the gasifier has sufficient surplus power, then it will be charged from gasifier. If you have any project, you can contact us at the email given in the description. For any question do not hesitate to comment. Again thank you very much.